floors of this thing are left? They're... Surely we're almost done here. I mean, surely we're almost done here. LaFay Shrine Central Cavern. Central Cavern, Central Caverns. Wait a minute, did I go back the way I came? I actually don't know. Uh... Just in case... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, run! No, uh... Shall we go? Scylla is dangerous no matter how close you are to it. So then what do we do? Why don't you go figure it out? I got a good idea. Um, run! I prefer not to fight the Ursula copy. Yes, I remember her name. Ursula. Let's take our leave. I do not want to fight the Ursula copies. I am good. I are good. I just got a feeling. I've got that feeling. And my feeling is wrong! Close the door, close the door, close the door! Okay, thank you. Thank you, Shrine. Final thing. Maybe right there? I'm not sure. What's right here? What is down this corridor? Okay, this one actually has the eyes. How nice. How nice. Ah, but there's none to actually, you know, run for me to actually run into. I could easily run into that one and be a dumb move. There's no one on the right. I do not see one up there. I think I won this. I don't know what's that. I'm paranoid. I really am. That's probably going to take me all the way back. I am paranoid. I am legit paranoid. I do not want to do this. Okay, quick saving again. So many quick saves just, just for this one thing. It's ridiculous. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. Oh, thank you! Thank you! My god. I'm oh, careless. Good thing I quick saved! Isn't that right? So, return the title. Let's do this! Okay, back. Yeah, wanted to make sure I did not do that. Let's see, uh. Oh. Now then, get me inside! Thank you. Much, much better. And I'm sure I assume this is where Asura's gonna be. I can only predict as much. Do you think Maltran came here as well? Even if she did, it wouldn't do her any good. Only the Shepherd has what it takes to get anywhere in a place like this. A Shepherd. Or his antithesis. Antithesis? While the skit goes on, I will look up that word. Uh, Ashura, Asura the Hellion. Hey, you think Azura is really a Hellion? Yes. I can feel its malevolence and domain. Why? Do you think it's a fake or something? Well, I mean, isn't it kind of strange? Why would they let a dangerous Hellion like that roam around freely? Why would a Protector Seraph just leave it be? Yeah, they're supposed to be powerful, high-ranked Seraphim, right? It probably has to do with the trial. Protector Seraphim are given special tasks. Sounds like a pretty convenient excuse. Yeah, I can't say that it isn't. You don't have to put it that way. You should know too. Seraphim aren't exactly models of virtue. They're not exactly heroes of justice either. Well, that's... Sold! You two sure sound so convincing when you team up. As long as you got the gist. Yep. If that's the trial, I'm up for it. I would hope so. And during that little, uh, skit, I figured out what antithesis means. Exactly what you would pred probably predict it as before I would even figure it out. Basically, it's just... A, uh, exact cop copy, or not an exact copy, but the opposite of a person. Basically, someone's evil doppelganger. Kind of like Shadow in, uh, in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, or maybe... Actually, that's the only one I can come up with, directly. If there are any other characters like that, well, be my guest, put them down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. It might help me out. But with that said, this is it. Let's end this trial once and for all. Uh, time to get some 
actual fun strategy battles in. Let's move. And... I freaking called it Gilgamesh! Is that Ashura? You mean Gilgamesh? Cause that looks like a freaking Gilgamesh. That is a freaking Gilgamesh. Surely, surely you guys know what I'm talking about. This isn't it either. Where is it? Where is my sword? His sword? Is that it? Is it normal for Hellions to attack each other? Uh oh. Shepherd. It is my job to defeat the Hellions. Oh boy. So, Azura is a shepherd. A shepherd who became a Hellion. Wonderful. Give it back. Give me my sword back. I do not have your sword, nor do I know where it is. Okay, resistance to fire and wind. Weakness is the earth. Go. You, you stole my sword, didn't you? Azura is a Hellion of anger. The cause of this anger ought to be what made him a Hellion. You mean because his sword was stolen? No. There's more to it. I would hope so, because that'd be pathetic reason to become a Hellion. Let's keep it up. Just saying. Jeez. The framework on my Elgato. My God. Not a good thing. Okay. Let's do this. Just want to make sure. Uh oh, run! Okay. Oh, uh, I appreciate the thing was built up. Just so I'm uh, ready. Here we go. That barely nicked him. Well, now I'm worried. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, rock satellite, you're facing. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Or must or Sunday, 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 and ow, oh boy. you have to focus, Bring him down with all your strength. Don't hold back, dang it. That's the last thing we need. Get over here. Oh, 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 oh. Geo stigma, not good. Rock Ringo! Yeah, take care of him, take care of him, take care of him! Rock Ringo! Ringo! Rock Ringo! Oh, that, 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 Rock Satellite, baby! Hey, oh! Uh oh. Uh, Philly, 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 kill it. Bang bang! Bang bang chicken wang wang! There we go! Rock Ringa! Okay, halfway there. We are so close. Well, not so close, but you get the idea. Still though, the thing is the studio can make their own copy of Gilgamesh and finally get away with it. Although, as I upload this video, I'll probably get a copyright strike saying that, hey, there's Gilgamesh in this. You can't use this video. Or something, I don't know. Actually, you know what the thing is, the studio is not making too much copyright compared to other LPs I have done, like the original Final Fantasy 13 and 13-2. Which is kind of surprising. Usually when it comes to Final Fantasy games, they're usually the ones with the top, uh, top thing and- Okay, that's not- Oh, no, you don't! Uh, but yeah, Final Fantasy games usually get a lot of copyright claims. Yeah, surprising- Well, RPGs in general get a lot of copyright claims. I remember my Tales of Zillia 2 playthrough actually got a lot of them when I was, start when I was starting out. Which is disappointing, but, eh, I've gone over it. At any rate, I'll do this for money. So, copyright claims, go fire away! I'd appreciate it if you didn't, you know, prevent other people from seeing my videos. Oh no, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, run, 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 run! Final embrace! That sounds deadly. Okay, if I can fill up this final meter... Here we go. Aw, oh, come on! 
sword has the power to cleave malevolence. Enough. We know that you want to help people. But attacking us isn't good. Aliens, chaos, and those filthy humans. What? Humans? Oh no. I shall destroy anything that summons malevolence. So that's the what thing. What does he want to do? Cut down the whole world? That's the reason why Azura became a Hellion. Correct. <sighs> that voice. Achua? This is the spiritual power of water! Miglio! Help me out here! Does that mean then? I don't know what it means, but I'm not gonna take a chance. Here we go! And now perish! Oh, they're not fishing off. I assume they want me to use Miglio, but I am not gonna risk that. It comes this far. I'm ending it with Earth. I say screw it. Earth. I say screw it. Fine, Malay. Just end it. Aw, oh, and I skipped the dialogue. I think. Well, that's a, that's a shame, but uh. Oh well. Anything else? No luck. New arts. Blessing Orb. And a new battle action. Nice. Anything else? Back. Altol. Altol. He's trying to say something. Yeah, Altol. My sword back. Altol. Altol. He's gone. He was the shepherd long ago. Even if he was purified, his body has already deteriorated. So, bye-bye. So his rage alone kept him going. The problem is Altol. Do you think that he stole Azura's sword? Let's go back and get the story from him straight. And I just caught a glimpse of someone in the background during a repeat, so that's something. Now, do we have to get caught by the water thing to go back down, or will he just yeah, show up I'll right now? Nope, okay, he's just gonna if show up right here then. If really was the shepherd, then that makes Altol. Yes, he was likely the seraph who formed a pact with Azura. Just like everyone else has with me. Such a shame for that man. All because of a sword. Oh, and, uh, and of course destroying the world, but mainly, mainly the sword. Now then. And for once, I actually want this to happen. Wow. That's saying something. You there! We've defeated Azura. Much appreciated. Are you... who we think you are? It is as you suspect. I am the Seraph who guided Azura to the way of the Shepherd, and used him as a vessel. You stole his sword? I did. Whoa. This is something special. You can tell with one look. This sword is made from a rare metal called Mithril. It truly does have enough power to cleave the world. Is that why you stole it and hid it? Yes. I was probably the one he wanted to slay most of all. But I had no choice. Huh. He was pure to the core. And it was that shining purity that tore him apart with worry. And eventually cost him his very soul. That's why he made that sword. To cut down anything that would be corrupted by malevolence. But I have no qualms about giving this sword to you. If you can learn to use it, it might aid you even more than the spiritual powers. I'll pass. Yeah, really. I already got a sword anyways. Well said. So you passed the trial of the spirit as well? Yep. If you don't need it, I'll take it off your hands. We were meant for each other. My blade and I shall cleave the world. Uh-oh. Maltran? Saray, look closely. No way. She's... Corrupted? I apologize for ignoring you back then, Seraphim. So you really could see us. 
Why you? Contend with the sword. I shall cut down the world, just as Azura wished. But why? For what reason? I should be asking you. Why don't you understand how Azura felt? Were we to erase this corrupted, chaotic world and all the humans in it, would that not rid us of malevolence once and for all? And us too! That is the clean, elegant logic of my master, the Lord of Calamity. What logic is You're that? You're with him? If Alicia knew about this... How sad she'd be. Boo-hoo. You've been using Alicia this whole time! You little! Ironically enough, to start a war, it is most effective to take a starry-eyed pacifist and get them all riled up over something. But now, everything is lined up for an all-out collision between Highland and Rollins. That's I'm it, I'm sorry, gonna kill her! Princess. She I needs to die! For usefulness. She needs to perish! This can't be... Well... This is a fine pickle, isn't it? For Stupid second, Mithril! I suppose reality is a far crueler trial than anything we could come up with. <sighs> Mikleo, Saray seems off lately. I think he's worried about Alicia. I wish it were as simple as telling him to stop. True. I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Just gotta let him so the last warn through it. power is wind, right? <coughs> yeah, cute. It's not cute. Your stupid wind stirs up my allergies. So if that's the case... Why am I going in here? If that's the case, then the wind trial should be open now. And uh, the malevolence should be gone, if I am correct in saying that. If not, then uh, who knows? I'll probably check that out at the end, uh, once I'm done here. I'm worried about Alicia too, Saray. But she'll be fine. I agree. In any case, we have the spiritual power. And Maltran is connected to the Lord of Calamity. If we stay focused on our goal, I'm sure we'll find a solution. Right. Absolutely. Now then, it's in remaining spiritual powers. Okay. So let's hit out that save point. Uh, hi, Hellion monster thingy. I'm gonna leave you be. Because reasons. Okay. So we've already hit the two hour mark. Again, give it. Uh, cut the, out a few seconds for intros and all that. And uh, for times when I need to take a break. And uh, it's uh, roughly two hours long. That's actually a first. So before we end things off here, I guess we'll end it up. We'll uh, view this little skit. And then that'll be that. Maltran's true identity. How could Maltran do this? There are Hellions in the Roland's Imperial family. It isn't all that strange to imagine Hellions amongst the Knights of Highland as well. A hero in war is a Hellion in life, goes the theory. I guess we have more evidence for that now. But who would agree with the thoughts of the Lord of Calamity? A Hellion? It's really as strange as you make it sound. Azura himself was a shepherd, as you know. And he thought the same way. In order to save the people, and to begin anew, he would destroy everything. It's a pitfall that can trap all humans who let malevolence get the best of them. Yes. How am I gonna break it to Alicia? Does she really need to know? It might be worse for her not to find out at this point. But Maltran said she no longer had any use for Alicia. I suppose we ought to believe her. It wouldn't make sense for her to reveal her true self to us otherwise. Seems to me the biggest issue is she'd been Alicia's rock through all this chaos, right? Good point. If Alicia finds that out, not only has she lost her one pillar of support, but that pillar's been using her the entire time. She could fall apart. That might be exactly what Maltran wants. She's probably thinking she can get the war rolling for good by crushing Alicia's spirit. What should I do? I guess we'll find out next time. But there we have it guys, that is going to do it for another session of Tales of Zestiria. Quite a long one and quite a painful one because of so many puzzles. We only took care of two of the trials and we still have one more to take care of. And uh, hopefully it, the malevolence will be gone, but uh, as soon as I end things off here I'll check it myself. Just to make sure, and if it isn't then uh, I'll see if I can figure out a way to make it go away. But either way, that's going to do it for this session of Tales of Zestiria. If you guys did enjoy, 
As always, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below showing your support for the series. And as always, if you are new here to the series and want to see more Tales of Zestiria as it comes out daily, along with any other games I decide to throw in the mixer as a result, then make sure you have subscribed and join the Dread Knights and the Shepherd in this quest to purify the malevolence and apparently now take out Maltran before she can cleave the world into nothingness. But until next time, this is Smiling Dread 4 signing out. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. I hope to see you guys tomorrow with some more Tales of Zestiria.